AV, great to see you once again. It's fight week here in Detroit. How excited are you to get going this Saturday night in familiar surroundings? I am super excited. I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. And I'm just happy that it's here. My friends, my family's gonna come out. It's gonna be a sold out crowd. It's gonna be electrifying and I can't wait. You mentioned our friends and family there. We was with Regis Progo a couple of weeks ago and he actually said that maybe that could have a bit of a negative impact. Maybe the pressures get to you, but I get the impression you're someone who will very much thrive under those circumstances this Saturday. Yes, I'm thriving throughout camp fight week you know the the pressure is there's no pressure you know i'm made for this moment and it's, it's a time to celebrate it's a time to have fun and i can't wait to do that with everyone who's coming out you mentioned the fun element there and perhaps some of the fighters we speak to are a bit too militant on the the training and the the end goal but i get the impression you're someone who very much wants to express yourself and do it in a positive way. Yeah, absolutely. It, one thing, I'm a positive person. You know, training camp's the hard part. You know, the fight is the fun part. I've done everything I needed to do to prepare myself for fight night, and it's time to have fun and put everything together that I learned, that I've been able just to see the growth in, and I can't wait. Growth is a, a word that you've used in the build-up to this. We obviously come and saw you in training camp, and you said actually having the defeat allowed you to grow. How important is that element and that word growth? Yeah, growth is important. It's important in life. It's important in the sport that you play. Boxing especially, it's, it's one man sport. And so I've been able just to see the growth within myself and it makes me happy and growth looks good on me. And it, it's something that I'm able to say, I was able to push through and see the outcome to say, hey, I'm here as the undisputed champion and to fight somebody like Christina and to handpick her to say we want her for the homecoming fight is she just tells everything and tells a story. Handpicked is a, a word that you've got on your merchandise for this week. <laughs> how important and how much do you want to know that is a handpicked opponent despite the fact you are looking to avenge the defeat? Yes, you know, we, we had other options, but Christina was someone that I wanted. You know, this is something that, again, comes around full circle to have her as a homecoming fight. She's an aggressive fighter. She's coming to fight. She has something to prove. I love that. That makes me a better fighter. And I wouldn't want anybody else other than Christina. Yeah, this has been, what, five years in the making now? Did you always know that this moment would eventually come? Yes, I did. I don't know how it was going to come, but now it's, it was necessary and I'm happy it's now and she's fighting the undisputed world champion at 1.30 and it's going to be great. Take me back to that night when the, the final bell went for the 10th and final round. Did you think you'd done enough? You know, I thought that I did at that time, but again, I can't argue with the judges. You know, it was, it was necessary for me to have that loss at that time because I was able to, to be real with myself, to get raw with myself, understand we need to make changes, and thank you. You know, here we are, and, and different woman. Yeah, that was gonna be my next question. How much have you changed since then? Eight fights, eight big wins. Completely different fighter now? Completely different fighter. I shedded a new skin. I don't even know who that old girl was. This girl who you're looking at now is someone who's rebirthed themselves, who been able to be real and say, hey, we needed the necessary changes. We did that. We are here now. You became undisputed. You fought who you were supposed to fight, and you are the top dog. You are the queen at 1.30 fighting again here in Detroit this Saturday. And when you get the win on Saturday, you've avenged your only career loss. There's not too much on the face of it for you to achieve at this weight. Have you started to think about maybe your next move or are all eyes on Christina and doing a, a job on her? Well, after this fight, I'll be undefeated. So, you know, no loss. I don't even know what that is. Um, but, you know, dominating. I can dominate at 130. I'm comfortable at 130. But again, I love a challenge as an athlete. As a woman, I want to move up to 135 and fight the champion there as well. I'm all for making a change in women's boxing, making these staple fights to say, Alicia Bumgardner has this story of the underdog who's prevailed, persevered through, and is looking to challenge herself over and over again and continue to you know, show the world who she is. And given the state of play in women's boxing at the minute, we are starting to see undisputed versus undisputed and big fights continuously now. That just must give you that little bit of motivation knowing victory here will just set you up for another big fight down the line. Absolutely, the hunger is, is thriving inside as 
when I started boxing at eight years old into where I am at now, I'm, I'm thriving, I want it, I'm hungry, and I'm always prepared for the, for the job. And come 10 o'clock, 10.30 on Saturday, how does this play, play out in your eyes? First of all, the crowd is going crazy. You know, they're, they're seeing Alicia up close and it's electrifying. But once that bell rings, it's AB in there fighting. She's sharp, her jab is working. You, you see the power, you see the legs, the definition. You see her putting her punches together. I don't know what round it is, but she's seeing the canvas or the referee's gonna be on his P's and Q's because it's gonna be a stoppage.